Okay, I just wanted to make a video showing you how I set up my external FS3X pedal, which I had from my old Digitech Jam Man, I think, and how I got it to work with the RC505 Mark II. So here's how my setup works when it's finally all finished and done. Uh, hit track one to arm track one. Okay, arm track two. Track three. Okay, arm track three. Arm track four. Sorry for that, but you get the idea. I'll start, I'll stop. Oof. Okay, so here's how I was able to get it to work from kind of the very beginning. It's a little strange, but uh, let me show you. One of the most frustrating things about this machine is there's no global settings to be able to write some of the changes and the signs that you make, you have to eventually copy it to all these tracks. So what I did is I copied it to the 30 tracks basically. I had my first track is config. These are the settings I'm gonna take you through. And then eventually I copied them over for the first 30 tracks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to 31 where nothing has happened yet. So the pedal doesn't work, nothing works, and we'll start from the very beginning. I think the best way to do this is if you have a generic pedal is to sort of get it to work first and then I can show you sort of how to get it to work the way I did it. So the first thing you do is you hit the menu key and then you hit the arrow over key. The two things we're gonna be worrying about is the control function and the assign. So let's start with the control function. The control function is basically the thing that's gonna control the uh, floor pedal. So here we go. So you hit the control pedal once and then the third one in is CTLXPT, push that. And the pedal is plugged into here, CTLXPT on the top one so it should control one and two. So I'll go into one and you'll see um, when you push it, these are all the different ways that you can configure your pedal. So take it all the way back to the beginning. Everything's off, three is off, four is off. All right, so when you click one, I'm assuming hopefully that's gonna control the first button over here in this. It's gonna be all off screen, but um, I'm gonna basically configure these two buttons, this to be on one, this to be on two. For control one, as you start to toggle, uh, you see all the different things you can do for specifically for track one. Eventually, we're gonna change this to be, um, to set so that when you hit the track button, it'll be the current track, and that's gonna be the second step. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to track one, and this particular pedal didn't seem to work well with all of these different push, hold, click. So I kept it very simple and just did the very first one, which was record, play. So track one, record, play. So here's one little glitch that I need to share. It's very bizarre. This pedal, whenever I restart the machine, every single time, it doesn't do anything. It does not work. The only way to get it to work, um, I don't know why it took me two days to figure this out, is to hold down all three keys at once. And when I do that, it'll basically arm one of the tracks. See, you do that all three and stop this, clear it. And now it should work the way it's supposed to. This is just what happened with this particular pedal. So if you have a problem where for some reason it doesn't seem to work, try pushing all the buttons. Again, I'm going to record play. And now when I push the mode key here, it arms and starts to control this. When I click it again, it plays it. And when I click it a third time, this is overdub. And then click it back to play. So it's perfect. The next thing you want to do is, so then that's all set. You don't have to save anything or enter. It's just once you change the little toggles, that's what it becomes. So I exit back out. So that's number one. Number two, we want the second button here to be stop. So, or actually stop all. So to do that, you have to keep on toggling way over past track one, two, three, four. And then after that, you'll see, keep going. All start stops. That's where you want to get to. So we're gonna go all start, stop, push. So now, um, I believe if I hit the first button, it'll play. 
as you see it's playing. And then if I stop, it'll stop it. And if I start the second key, start again and stop. So that's basically how you get this to work with one track. When you're playing live or when you're playing alone and you want to really work in this, you obviously it's much easier to be able to do that for all the tracks and pushing the track key. So we're going to back up exit to get back to the main menu. So now we're back on our main menu. As we are for now, this should be saved when you start and stop the machine. And I think it's global where you don't have to do this for every track. The next part is going to be the assign part where we're basically going to assign every one of these track buttons to be the current track when you push it. I found this out from another YouTube video, so thank you for that. Um, but right now, when you hit the track key, it does not select that track. So we have to do that. But when you add that together with the loop pedal, it works the way I showed you in the beginning. Exit, exit until you're in the main menu, starting fresh. Okay, so you hit the menu key again, you hit the arrow over, and now we have the assign key. So the first thing you wanna do is push that. Eventually, we're gonna turn all these on, but we'll start with one. So you turn on assign one, you push it, and there's two things we need to change here, the source, and then the second one is you toggle over, and the target. So we'll start with the source. So what you wanna do is you turn this to, say, track one after the effects. Here we go, track one, play. So track one, TR, play. Then move the arrow over to target. You're gonna keep on turning it until you get to something called, pretty far, there it is, okay. Current track number. So this says current C-U-R dot track number one through five min max. We want to turn that to be the current track to be one. So those are the two settings we set in the assign one key. So to back up, source is track one. Current track number is one and one. So you exit out, that's for one. So we have to now do this for every single one of the other tracks from two to five. I'll do that and I'll speed up the video so you can see. Track two, TR play. Current track number, two and two. And track five, turn on the assign on, push the button. Track five, play, okay, and five. Okay, now we have one through five assigns are now set to the current track number. And basically when you hit the track number, it'll assign it to be that track. Why that wasn't done automatically, I just don't understand why. Boss seems to want to torture us. They love it. The important thing about this assign is that it does not save, is the first thing. If you turn this off and turn it on, that's completely lost. And it only saves that for this track right now. So right away, the first thing you want to do, even before I do anything, is I'm going to save it by hitting uh, the two exit and enter keys together. Save, right, enter. So now that those settings are saved for 31. So now we go back to menu, toggle over, back to the control function, CTL EXP, back to our, so right now this was saying current track one, play record. We want to change this to say not track one specifically, but the current track, which now you can do by selecting the tracks because that's what we did with the whole assign. So now we're going to move this forward, past track one, track two, track three, Track four, track five, current track, here we go. So current track is going to be current track record play. That's gonna be this one. And now we go back to two, it should still work. We don't have to change this. It's all start, all stop. Okay, if all that was done correctly, now if I go and I arm track one, mode one will start recording. Mode two will be playback as you can see. And if you hit it again, it's overdub and then back to play. So that's the first button. The second one should be all stop, stop all, and start all. And now arm track two, record, playback, overdub, stop. Same thing with three, record, playback, overdub, and same with four. And finally five by hitting the track key to arm it. Oops, here we go. Okay, one thing to note is that this only worked when I had the um, default settings for the all start, all stop. I know there's a button that you can clear where you can hold this down to clear everything. That seemed to mess up the pedal for some reason, so I kept it on the default settings, and if I wanna clear everything, I just have to hold down all these keys. 
And now the last step is to record this to a bunch of memory slots so that when you turn on your machine, your pedal is all set and you can play and you don't have to worry about reconfiguring all this. So to do that, it's pretty easy. It's just a bit of a process. So um, 31 is all set. So uh, go to right and let's turn to 32, enter. And just do this a bunch of times. I'll do it to 40 and speed it up so you can see the process. Okay, so now basically from 30 to 40, we save those assigned settings. 31, I guess, was old, so 32 should. So now when I hit the mode key, oh, it's on track five, great, stop it. If I go to track one, great, play, record, stop. Now again, this key is all start, all stop. Okay, so as you can see, that works. So one other little thing I will say, this third button seems to be, I don't know how this works, but the third button is sort of connected. So what the third button does is it actually plays and overdubs at the same time. Maybe that's useful, but I'll show you, if I hit that third button, it'll play the current track with the yellow light, which means you're overdubbing. And then I'll stop, our, stop and start all. So that's what the third key does. Nothing was set for that. That was just by setting these two. So that took me a while to figure out using a bunch of different sources, um, but hopefully uh, this helps you and you can enjoy uh, your loop station to work the way hopefully you intended it to work. All right, thanks.